Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's start as Manchester United manager has been nothing short of sensational. You know, wins over Cardiff and Huddersfield and Bournemouth and Newcastle and Reading, they were all great. But it was that win against Spurs that turned this start from Solskjaer from fantastic to sensational. Up against Mauricio Pochettino, the man considered the favourite for the Manchester United job full-time in the summer, Solskjaer deployed an excellent game plan, exposing the space in behind Spurs' defence, getting that goal in the first half, and in battling second-half performance. And thanks to David De Gea's heroics in goal, Man United had a 1-0 win, six wins from six. Solskjaer becomes the first ever United manager to do that. So I want to ask a question now. Should Solskjaer be considered for the Manchester United job full-time in the summer? Most people felt that Solskjaer coming in between now and May was simply a caretaker role, that there was not really any chance that he was going to get the job full-time. But is that something that we now have to reconsider? I'm going to run through some reasons why he should be considered, absolutely, and also outline some of the risks that would be associated with giving him the job. Now, before I get into it, as always, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down there and get involved in the United People's TV community. But let's get into it. Now, the first reason why I think Solskjaer should be considered for the job full time is because he gets Manchester United. He knows what Manchester United stand for. And whoever is appointed as Manchester United's next manager, they have to understand what the club stands for. You know, in hiring Jose Mourinho, we went on the polar opposite direction from what we all felt Man United stood for. But after Moyes and Van Hal, it felt like the right appointment at the right time, and it didn't work out. Van Hal didn't work out. Moyes didn't work out. United cannot afford to let that happen again. So whoever comes in has to have faith in the youth. It's a pillar of this football club, playing entertaining, exciting, attacking football. Solskjaer fits both of those, and he knows what it means to be a Manchester United player. And we've seen from Solskjaer's start at Manchester United that he does play attacking, exciting football. He does have faith in the youth. And also, if you look at you know, Zidane at Real Madrid and you look at Guardiola at Barcelona as well, both of them spent time with the reserves before they went through and became first team manager. Now, Solskjaer has done that back in the day, had a couple of years as reserves manager. So in that sense, Solskjaer would be a perfect fit. And a second reason why he may well be the perfect candidate is Solskjaer has Manchester United in his blood. He spent 12 years here as a Manchester United player under Sir Alex Ferguson. He's adored by the fans. The babyface assassin has come back and is doing a brilliant job as Manchester United manager. And you can't take that away from him. And with Oli, you can tell that it's more than just a job for him. He has a real deeper connection with Manchester United and that's come across in abundance to fans and to the players as well. Having the Man United job wouldn't just be a big paycheck for Solskjaer, it means that little bit more. And that is a connection that United fans haven't had since Fergie, and you don't really have with managers. But in Solskjaer, we would have that opportunity. And that has to be another big reason why he would be a good manager for Manchester United. Another reason is Solskjaer's relationship with the players. We've seen straight away just how much of an impact Solskjaer's relationship with the players has had. You know, after we've had managers like Mourinho and Van Gaal, which sort of split the players. Some liked it, some supported it, some didn't and were against it. That created a divided camp. But in Solskjaer, we've got an us versus you mentality, a siege mentality in the style of Fergie rather than the style of Mourinho. And it's coming across in his, in his first six games, sorry, under Solskjaer, I've seen more commitment and desire from these Manchester United players than I have in the last real five or six years. Solskjaer has brought a massive togetherness back to this Manchester United team, and it's translating into wins right now. Now, obviously when things are going well, and your football team is winning, everything comes naturally. So it'll be interesting to see what happens if United do lose a couple of games, whether that togetherness disappears. But with Solskjaer, it feels like he's creating an environment which is going to be consistent, continuous, down to the vision of the club and down to the vision of Solskjaer. And it's all going to be aligned together. So I've, I'm excited to see what happens between now and the end of the season. But if the first six games are anything to go by, Solskjaer's man management of the squad is bringing out a lot more from these players. Look at Marcus Rashford, absolutely shining. 
Solskjaer saying he can be better than Harry Kane. That sort of belief is being instilled into the players. And I don't think you can underestimate the value of that. And of course, another reason why Solskjaer would be a fantastic choice is his faith in the youth. Solskjaer was United's reserve manager when Paul Pogba was there. And now he's playing with Paul Pogba in the first team. He's given a debut to Tahith Chong. He's given minutes to Angel Gomez. He's brought James Garner in and around the matchday squad. Solskjaer has a long history at Mulder of bringing through the youth there, and that's a big reason why he was so successful in Mulder. He tried to do the same thing at Cardiff, but let's not talk about that until later on. Solskjaer knows what it means and how important bringing through the academy players into the first team is at Manchester United. After 12 years as a player, he saw plenty come through. After a couple of years as reserve manager, he's helped plenty come through. And at Mulder, it worked because he put faith in the youth. And at United, that's something we haven't properly seen since Fergie went. Yes, we've had loads and loads of players coming in and coming through, but very few have stayed in the first team squad. Solskjaer would certainly change that in the coming years if he was given the opportunity to be United manager full time. But despite all of these points that I'm making here, there really is only one reason why Solskjaer would get the job full time. And that is what happens between now and the end of the season. If United storm back into the top four comfortably, maybe even finishing third, second, probably not second. But if we do that and Solskjaer, by some miracle, wins the Champions League, he's obviously going to get the job full time. Absolutely. But if the Solskjaer bubble bursts and he struggles in the last couple of months of the season, players start to dip, the fee, good feeling goes away a little bit, then he probably won't get the job. What Solskjaer has now has to be the longest job interview ever. He's got six months as Manchester United manager to show Edward Wood and the board that I am capable of being Manchester United manager. And if he succeeds in doing that, I think him getting the job is basically a given. But of course, there would be risks attached to bringing in Solskjaer as manager. And the most obvious reason is, of course, his experience, or lack thereof. Solskjaer really has no previous experience of managing an elite level club. He managed our reserves for a couple of years, then he went to Molde, was very successful at Molde, but that's in the Norwegian League. Then he came to Cardiff, and that was an absolute disaster for him in the Premier League. His first taste of the Premier League there. Went back to Molde, wasn't as successful in his second spell there, still quite successful. But Given that we've got the likes of Pochettino, Jardim, Blanc, lots of managers being linked with the job, Solskjaer's CV on paper doesn't compare to any of them. So in that sense, it would be a big risk. And the second reason why he may well not get the job is looking at the other candidates. Say, Pochettino. He is considered the heavy favourite for that job. And you know, he's done an absolutely wonderful job at Spurs with very limited resources. He's brought through, he's made Harry Kane who Harry Kane is. He's helped bring through so many players into that squad and it's just a really solid together club. That, that's what it looks like from the outside. Spurs, all, all the players are on the same wavelength and that's because of Pochettino and the job he has done there. As I said, with very limited resources. Some may say that, look, Pochettino has never won a trophy before. But Pochettino is never going to win the Premier League when Liverpool and City are spending 300 million and he's spending zero. Pochettino's CV is better than Solskjaer's. Blanc's is better than Solskjaer's. Experience at managing at the highest level. Same as Jardim's. And that goes against Solskjaer. So in that sense, if you're calculating the risks, Solskjaer's lack of experience is the biggest risk around him. And... That's, less, that's made worse, I suppose, by the fact that other candidates have much more experience. And that's the question that United's board have to ask themselves. But for me, I think it would be absolutely foolish to rule out Solskjaer getting the job as Manchester United manager full-time in the summer. On paper right now, Pochettino, for me, is still the standout candidate. After everything he's done at Spurs, I think if he did that at Manchester United, with his faith in the youth with his attractive, exciting football and everything he has done, but adding resources on top of that, it seems like Pochettino would be all set to make Manchester United great again. But if Solskjaer smashes it between now and the end of the season, 
Are oh, United really going to then sack Solskjaer and bring in Pochettino? I'm not sure. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Should Man United be considering Solskjaer? No, maybe not. Obviously not now. He's only six games in. But at the end of the season, if he does smash it, does Oli get the job? Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, take it easy.